Hey guys, good morning. Welcome to Nigra Techies. This is our ASP.NET Core Tutorial version 6.0. So part of this video, I'm going to explain how to enable cars and how to enable cars dynamically by adding origins from databases. Here I listed out all the topics. We can go one by one. The first step is we have to define our cars policy. Okay. So basically we have to define our cars using two ways. The first one is defining cars policy using this default policy option and the second one is policy with name so let me go to my application so based on my last video already i am added one cars policy here so this is our second option adding cars policy using the name so that's what i have provided the name is policy one so now let me show you how to create the policy using this default option The steps are almost the same. So instead of this add policy, we have to use add default policy. So then we are not required to provide any name at all. Okay, once you added your cars policy, you have to add three more important things. The first one is origin. Bull dot origins with. So basically, uh, you have to use two options. The first one is allow any origin. That means there is no restriction. Any origin or any domain can access our services. And the second one is with origins that means it has the restrictions so whatever domain value you are providing that domain only is supposed to access our api otherwise the car series will throw okay so here i am going to provide four two zero one okay and if required i can include multiple domains also because it will take the string array so let me provide one more value 4202 okay okay we have completed our first step so let me move on the second one methods so in this method also we have the two functions like first one is with methods so if you are providing some restriction based on the action method then you have to use this with methods otherwise you can choose this allow any method Okay, the final one is header. So here also I am going to select allow any header. We have the options. If required, you have to use. Other than that, it's fine. Okay, it's fine. So now we have two cars policies. Now we need to enable the cars policies. Okay, for enabling the cars policy, we have the two options. The first one is so in the app side, we have the option is use cars. So in this use cars, you have to provide the policy name. So in case if you are trying to use the default policy, then you don't provide any value. Okay. This is the one way. And the second one is you are enabling or disabling the cars in the specific controller or else in the particular methods, then you have to go with an attribute options. Okay. For the attribute, we have enable cars and also disable cars so we have the two options so let me explain a little later so before that we have to verify this one so as of now we have enabled the default policy only okay so the default policy contains the domains are localhost 4201 and also the 4202 only so actually my application is currently running in the 4200. This is one of the Angular application. Here I am consuming the same services. The get method actually I am consuming for loading all the products. So let me check in the browser. Okay, it's loaded fine. The expected result is it should be populated our product information. Unfortunately, it's not loaded. Why? Because the car error. So let me check in the console. Yes. So it's blocking. 
why because we not included this 4200 in our cars policies so let me check yes actually we have included this 4200 in the policy one but we have enabled the default policy only so that's what we are getting this error so let me rerun my application now i am going to running in the port number of 4201 Okay, our application currently rerunning in the port of 4201. So let me go to the home page. Okay, currently our products are loaded. Why? Because our application is running in the port number of 4201 that we have included in our cars policy. As of now, we have included all the origins in the hard coded manner. But here after, we have to fetch all the values from our database. For that, I have one table. So let me show you. So this is my table. I am having three columns. The first one is ID, origin name and is active. Okay. So initially I have included two origins 4200 and 4201. So instead of this hard code, I am going to get this database values. For connecting to the databases, I am going to use the entity frameworks. The entity framework setup was already there. So you are able to see already I'm having one LAN DB context that I have registered in our service set. So let me try to access the same database context here. Equal to. So builder dot services. So here build service provider. So in this provider, I'm going to use get services option and our data type is LAN DB context. Okay. Now let me check it contains the data or not. It's already registered. So definitely it is having the data. The same time I am going to define on a list array also. Origin list. Now I am going to access our database. So my table name is table origins. Here I am going to check the data are is active true only. If origin data equal not equal to null, also I'm going to check whether it's having the data or not. So now I'm having the list of origins data. So let me include in the list. So then item, so item contains the object. So here I'm going to use this origin name only. Okay. Now let me remove this hard coded data. So instead of that, I'm going to use this array. I mean this list. So actually we need to convert in the array format. That's it. So now we can verify. First, let me run the application. 
okay our application is running now let me go to my angular application so still it's running in the 4201 only so let me refresh it see now it's working fine okay so now let me try to change the port number ng serve and my port is 4203 okay now we have changed the port number so let me go to the browser once again okay the browser also I just changed the port number so let me refresh it see now the data is not loaded so let me check in the console hopefully we are getting this car error because we not included this 4203 in our domain section so let me go to the database here i am going to include one more rg name four two zero three and this one also true okay so here after we don't have any code changes in our application i mean our ap application but we have to restart our application okay that is the important thing because this initialization of middleware is the one time process the application starting time only it will do so for every time it's not going to check that's what we are just restarting so in case if you are hosted in the server also you just restart it after including the values okay our application is running now so we have to refresh our angular app also okay great the data are loaded fine so now let me go to my topics list okay we have defined our cars policy using the default policy and also policy with the name and we have loaded the origins from our databases so let me mark both targets completed okay the final one is cars attribute okay so basically this cars attribute is used for enabling or disabling the cars for the specific controller or action methods so in our application currently we have enabled the cars globally so it should be applicable for whole application that means whatever controllers we have this should be applicable for commonly okay so here after i am going to enable or disable for the specific controller so let me go to my product controller first i'm going to use this enable cars so if you want to use this enable cars you have to include this namespace microsoft.asp netcore.cars so in case you are using the lower version of uh, .NET core you have to install this package manually so if you are using the version of 6.0 it's defaultly it's installed so not required to install once again you have to use the namespace that's fine so here we have to provide our attribute name so the attribute name is nothing but this enable cars okay so if i am providing like this it will take the default policy so because i am not provided the policy name so now i am going to use the policy name so let me take this one okay we have included the policy and also in the database side I'm going to change this one into 4202 so that means our default course does not have this 4200 okay so let me rerun my application once again so now let me go to my angular application it's not loaded so again we are getting this car error so if you checked in this application so globally we have enabled this default cars only in the default cars it's loaded from our databases here we are able to see the origin of 4203 but we have enabled cars for our product controller individually using this enable cars policy so if you checked in this policy one it contains the origin is 4200 only so that's what we are getting this cars error so let me stop and rerun my angular application okay fine so let me check in the browser 
here I'm going to change the port number for two double zero so let me refresh it so it will work so the data are loaded fine so let me go to the topics so we have completed this enable cars okay the final one is disable cars oh, basically this attribute is used for uh, disabling the cars functionality so let me go to my application so in the product controller I want to remove the cars functionality so currently I'm having this enable cars I have included the policy so let me remove everything so if I'm removed this one so it will defaultly taking the global cars policy that means our default policy okay that's what we have enabled here so avoiding this one we have to use the disable cars option okay okay I use this disable cars and also let me go to my program.cs I'm going to use our policy one as the global one okay well soon this is one also done so let me run the application so let me go to the browser of our angular application I'm going to refresh this one so the data are not loaded because we have disabled the cars in our product controller so in case if I am trying to remove this one so then it will take the default cars policy so the default cars policy also nothing but our policy one only if I am running this one hopefully it will work so let me refresh our application one second so see now the data are loaded it's working fine so now we are in the almost end of our video so before closing this one I have to provide some details so we have defined one default policy and also one named policy the similar way we have to define n number of named policies okay and for enabling also we have to use the different policies so as of now I just use this policy one the similar way if required I have to use both options also it will work fine okay and uh, uh, just to consider the scenario you have the three policies uh, you want to use three policies for the different controllers that time also you can use so it will work so now let me go to the topics so we have completed this disable cars also still if you have any doubts or clarification please post in the comment box and also please don't forget to subscribe my channel thank you thanks for watching we can see one of the interesting topic in our next video